Oh, hello. Nice of you to join us. Yes. Well, I should advise you that turning up three minutes late to an appointment here and wasting my time is truly unforgivable behaviour and you should be most sorry for this indiscretion. Fortunately for you, I, being the gracious spa owner that I am, will forgive you on this occasion. Now, please do come on in, sit down, relax, and make yourself comfortable. I know that you are perhaps not accustomed to luxurious settings such as this, what with you looking the way that you do. It's, uh, I don't know what style you'd call this, perhaps simply a severe lack of any real style. Uh, I suppose you might say scruffy chic. Nevertheless, do try to feel at home here and I will do what I can to make you comfortable and relaxed as we treat you here at the spa facilities. Yes, and before we begin, I should warn you that I am assuredly most exceptionally skilled at what I do, but despite that, I cannot work miracles, <laughs> and I think it would take a few of those to have you looking anywhere near uh, my regular clientele. No matter, we will work with what we are given and I'm sure we will reach a more favourable outcome than we are currently at, at this particular moment. Yes. Well, your pleasure, I assume. Uh, we should probably get started. There is rather a lot to get through here. Yes, rather a lot indeed. Of course, well, my manners. I am Tippy Tappy. I, no, sh sh sh. I certainly do not need to know your name. Uh, I would only forget it anyway, so let's not bother with the pleasantries and small talk. And let's jump right into the good stuff. <laughs> okay. To begin with, I think uh, just a bit of a general uh, cleaning probably uh, what is called for in this case is, is that is a ghastly business. No matter. Nothing that we can't get rid of with a little skin cleaning wipe. Now typically I would use a very gentle uh, wipe with no fragrances or strong chemicals but in extreme circumstances such as your face 
uh, something a little stronger is called for. So these are quite potent little wipes, and we shall be giving you a good, uh, yes, a very good just a bit here. <laughs> See, usually I would do as I have done today and clean my hands before we get started. But I think at the moment what's called for is probably for me to clean my hands now that I have contaminated them with your whatever it is that has made its way upon your face. that you've left upon my beautiful delicate hands here. Yes, well, I'm not particularly concerned with giving you my regular level of pleasant attitude and gracing you with my more kindly behavior. Let us not forget that you are here because you won a free coupon via our competition. I'm not entirely sure how someone such as yourself found out about our competition, but here we are. Okay, I think that has just about removed the residue from your face. That, of course, gives us ah, a much better starting point. Absolutely have to. Okay. Where to begin? I think now that we have cleaned the face, uh, it's certainly looking not good, of course. I'm sure you're quite aware of that by this point in your life, uh, but much better than it was when you walked in. So I think a simple scrub is in order now, and to do that I will be using this little bristly facial brush here, specifically designed for this type of thing. I'll give it a little dab of water here. Liquid just helps the foaming cleanser here. This is a 
just a basic and gentle daily foaming cleanser. I always recommend that uh, the beginning of any skincare routine should start with a good gentle foam scrub after of course you've given it a regular wash and you're ready to begin. So, and you really must not forget to give it a wash regularly more regularly than you are clearly doing at the moment and a friendly bit of advice a wash for the rest of your body as well is probably highly advisable and don't worry my consultation on these matters uh, is given to you at no extra price. Yes, I'm sure you are most thankful for my wisdom. Now, a couple of uh, squirts of this foam here. I'll gently lather that in. Uh, warm it up a little bit so that it doesn't shock you when it touches your face. And now, yes, just a generous scrub. Uh, yes, that's very good. Very good. Okay. And yes, don't worry about it dropping on you now. Certainly not going to do you any harm to have a bit of soap touch your body. Uh, okay. Yes, a little bit more foam here. Yes. Okay. Yes, well. And certainly, like it's doing the job. Now, you see, when you apply a foaming wash like this regularly, uh, I would recommend at least twice a day once in the morning and once in the evening. Yes, two times a day. That's usually how often people uh, wash themselves. Well, of course I can... I have surmised that myself, shall we say, just by uh, breathing in your presence. But uh, I assure you, twice a day is absolutely necessary. Okay. No, really, it's not a joke. Twice a day, minimum. No, no, twice a day, not every two days. Uh, see, you are a little slow. It explains a lot. Mm. Okay, well, anyway, enough of the pleasantries and nice small talk that we're having as enjoyable as it is. I think it is about time that we moved on to the next step of our little routine and this, I assure you, is quite the treat. <laughs> I have no doubt that you have absolutely zero idea what this is. It is a poor minimizing tonic oil. Read that for you in case you're not capable of doing so yourself. What this does, as you might, or perhaps you haven't, uh, but a normal person might have guessed by the name, is that it helps to clean out and seal the pores on the face. It's quite common for pores to come open and absorb lots of dirt and grease and oil uh, all over the skin of the face, certainly in cities and things like that. Yes, where the air pollution is quite high. 
and in the sort of places I can only imagine that you frequent, I would expect that the air pollution is also quite high. Okay, well, nevertheless, this poor minimizing tweak will certainly help. Now, what we do with this is we take now I assure you it's not going to do you any harm, you don't need to jump. This is simply a little cotton pad. Uh, no, a cotton pad. Cleaning or applying. Let me just show you how it works. So this will bounce. Yes, well, I would rather hum to myself and converse with someone of your status. <laughs> now, what you do with this, and please do pay attention, is you take the cotton pad. You can also use a ball or a swab. Yes, pretty much anything that's clean and made of cotton can be used to apply the pore minimizing tonic. Pore. How fitting. Anyway, we simply apply a few dabs here. And I will certainly be applying slightly more generous helping for you than I. Typically, but I suspect it might be some time before you have another treatment such as this. So it is perfectly fine. Okay. Yes. And close the eyes. This actually can sting a little if it gets into your cuts or into your eyes. I have had that happen before, and it's not particularly. Feel free to close your eyes or relax for me while I work my magic. Uh, certainly anything that you would like to do, meditate, dream, drift away, leave, it's uh, preferable to us having a conversation. Uh, yeah, very good. Very good indeed. particular cotton pad. <laughs> well, that's why we use them, of course. Although, people generally use them much more frequently than you clearly do. Okay. We're certainly seeing some significant improvements in the way that you look. Yes. Uh, perhaps even a hint of hidden beauty under there. I don't get carried away. It's very, very hidden. But slowly and surely we are doing 
good work to at least polish the problem area that is, well, that is, <laughs> anyway, where were we? Right. So yes, now we have used our cotton pads, which you are now familiar with, yes. uh, and to apply the pore minimizing tonic after, of course, giving you a, a general clean, and then of course, a foaming scrub facial brush. Uh, yes, and certainly that has been a very successful uh, step forward in your general hygiene and uh, just the, the ability for me to actually see your face. Uh, when you walked in, it was more dirt than face, and now it is certainly heading in the other direction. <laughs> yes. No, no, it's a compliment, I assure you. <laughs> Who doesn't want to improve with a treatment such as this? And you, in fact, have such a remarkable amount of room uh, in which we can maneuver. Uh, and the jump between where you are when you walked in and where you will be when you leave here this evening is quite astounding. You are very welcome. I know that you did not say thank you, but uh, that was in fact the moment where uh, that would have been the polite response. Um, of course, decorum is probably not your strong suit, so let us continue now. I think at this stage we have cleaned out the skin, got rid of any dirt, Hopefully, given a bit of a boost to your pores there, cleaning them out and helping them to close up a little. Remove any of that excess dirt and oil and grease. And there was a lot of those things. <laughs> yeah, so now what we're going to be applying is this little beautiful uh, serum here. This is actually a balancing skin moisturizer. Yes, yes. Now what this will do is it helps to even out the skin tone and uh, get rid of impurities, blemishes, marks, uh, just generally things on your face that don't uh, look even and don't match up. So, yes, yes. And of course it's packed with all of the essential and clinically proven ingredients that should uh, help to, over time, of course, it's not, as I say, a, a miracle treatment that we offer here, uh, but over time, if you continue with this routine, and I will allow you to leave with a small sample of each of these products, uh, but if you keep that routine up and you regularly apply this, uh, you should certainly see significant improvements in your general appearance. Yes. I have some colleagues in uh, other areas that can perhaps help with everything else that you have going wrong. I mean, going on, sorry. <laughs> yes, but uh, certainly, you know, we can treat the face today, but I think a good shave and a barber, and, well, yes, uh, a good shave, yes. you, you certainly need that, uh, a barber, uh, maybe. Uh, a bathhouse, Ooh. yes, and a stylist, not good news, but yes, well, not for free, of course, uh, thankfully we're not running any more of those competitions since receiving the response that we did, mm -hmm. uh, turns out it is not, in fact, good business for me to be treating those, shall we say, of a certain standing. Yes, this is a business and businesses run on finance and money and uh, my customers ideally would be customers that possess money. And it's uh, 
live and learn. Now, what I'm going to do with this is to simply yes, squad a few dabs of it here. I will rub that into my hands again so that it's nice and warm. And now I'm simply be applying this gently in small circular motions. Uh, gently massaging it in to your skin. Making sure that we have very good coverage. Yes, that's right. Want to make sure that we've got all areas smoothly applicated with uh, the serum here. And that, of course, should mean that we are one step closer to achieving an acceptable uh, presentation of your person. <laughs> Wipe down the residue from my hands. Hygiene and cleanliness, of course, of the utmost importance. You should be washing your hands regularly throughout the day, many times. Uh, and certainly if you come into contact with anything at all, It could be considered unclean and you should take extra care to immediately wash your hands uh, even if it's not a time at which you would typically do so. So if you see me washing my hands regularly, uh, don't take it personally. It's something I do this often with all of my clients. I should Okay, now, this is a hydrating boosting serum. Now what this does, uh, when applied in conjunction with the balance and cream that we just applied there, uh, is it helps to really hydrate and give the skin a bit of a glow. Yes, it's a, as you would expect, has a good boosting property. And I do find that even with just the one application uh, straight away off the bat you should begin to see a bit of a, an improvement right away. Uh, this particular step is not one that I would advise every day as part of your routine. Uh, I would say uh, perhaps once or twice a week depending on how your skin reacts. Uh, is more than sufficient for this particular uh, part of the treatment. Just stay still for me. Yes. And a little down here. Yes. Okay, let's take a little look at what we've got now. Quite the conundrum and uh, not a puzzle.
puzzle that I expect to be able to solve today. Okay. I've got it. Let me have a look here. What have we got? Just the thing. Excuse me, yes. This little beauty here. <laughs> yes, it's a brightening eye roller. No, no, you don't apply it to the actual eyeball. Just a fascinating the things that you have come out with in this session, I must say. It's uh, bizarre. I have helped many parents to come up with good skincare practices and routines for their children to help them uh, age gracefully as they grow and to keep healthy skin, treat things like acne and blackheads. I must say, even when dealing with toddlers, I have not really had anybody before come out with some of the absurd Honestly, quite foolish things um, that you have come out with. So, uh, take some pleasure in knowing that you have at least bought me some entertainment. That's all we've been discussed. Okay. Now, all I'm going to do is just apply a bit of this under each eye here. Gently roll it on. Yes, generously. That's it. And the other one for me. Okay. Yes, we have to massage it in with a little uh, roller ball on the end. Well, I think that, in fact, it does mean that we are finished for this evening. certainly before touching your face. I have spent considerable effort and used some rather expensive products to do what I can for the situation. But I would not want you to ruin all of that with those grubby bits of yours. Yes, if you want to just let me dry that off for you so that you don't have to touch it as well. myself at times. When you walked in here, you were hideously displeasing to the eye and some of the other senses, I'll be quite honest. Uh, and you will leave here looking only slightly uh, displeasing to the eye. So I would certainly say that that is a magnificent success. <laughs> and of course, once again, proof of my skill. <laughs> yes, you can leave now. No, please do. Leave me be. I assume you can find the door. Yes. Okay. 